here we are again. It's Claire from the Paris Group Realty LLC in Portland, Oregon. And today on our Dear Claire series, I'll be addressing energy efficiency. And specifically what we're talking about today is energy efficiency as it relates to the whole house. So um, right now, and this is actually going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight the three main um, sort of meta uh, efficiency ratings and how they're slightly different. Um, this continues to change and develop. And also you should know that there are some organizations that are only specific here to the United States. And then LEED, for example, is international. Um, the biggest way to understand this is some of them focus on the entire house and its efficiencies as they relate to each other. And then some of them just focus mostly on do you have this? Do you have that? Um, and then some of them focus um, specifically on the appliances inside the property. Um, so what that is, what I mean to say is <laughs> there's Energy Star. That's one of the ones. Earth Advantage is another certification. And then LEED, which I just um, mentioned. And LEED, I can't remember what it stands for, but it's it's an, it's it's um, stands for something that I can't remember specifically, but LEED is the only one that I know of that's international. And so what that means is it's a little bit more recognized. It also has, I suspect, a little bit more money behind it because it's, again, more recognizable. And LEED itself is an organization that comes in and inspects the building process um, and thereby inspects where you're getting things from, how far the transport is, say, for your window package, or um, how energy efficient your hot water heater is, or what the um, composition of the insulation that you've got in your house is made of, like what not just the R value, um, but what it's actually made of and whether it's toxic to humanity and to the environment. So it just takes in to account way more information about how the building is built. It does not take into any account um, aesthetics. So you should know that because a lot of people, interesting to me, but a lot of people confuse energy efficiency with modern and pretty, but that is not necessarily what it is. I've seen plenty of buildings that most people might not think are very attractive, but are very, um, very energy efficient. So for the LEED certification itself has several different levels. So there's silver, gold, platinum, and certified. Certified is obviously the lowest. Um, and with each level, it gets stricter and more difficult. So if you've got a home that you're looking at to purchase, a gold LEED home, and by the way, this is often not in residential because it's so expensive to do. Um, so it's way more often in commercial, but sometimes you will see a LEED certified home and that's going to be a very expensive home because the process, you actually hire LEED, they send these people out to do third party inspections. They're looking at all these, the application is super complicated and difficult. Um, so that's why it's usually commercial property. Um, then Earth Advantage Home Certification is the one that you're going to see with most homes here in Portland, Oregon. Um, it's through. It's also through an independent um, third party that's called Earth Advantage, and <coughs> they have also certification levels. So they have silver, gold, and platinum, and they have five categories that they're looking at specifically: energy efficiency, indoor air quality, resource efficiency, and environmental responsibility and water conservation. So it's a little bit of an easier um, certification to get. It's a little less expensive um, as far as builder is concerned, and it's a little less stringent about where you're sourcing materials from. It's more like, oh, okay, this is a, <coughs> excuse me, this is a high efficiency hot water heater check. And you can usually, um, you know, if your water efficiency say you didn't plant um, zero scaping plants in the front yard, then maybe the hot water heater is going to make up for that or the low flush toilets would make up for that. Anyways, um, 
this gets really complicated guys and I'm happy to explain all of this um, but I find it fascinating because as we move into the century where water is going to become more scarce um, it's going to be more difficult to maintain your grass in the summer um, you're probably not going to want an old toilet that takes like 15 gallons of water to flush when the toilet that you can buy even at Home Depot is about one and a half gallons so there's a lot of stuff to consider um, as far as upgrades that you can make to your existing house, but these are usually specifically with new construction. And then the other one is Energy Star. This has a lot to do with appliances. And that's how it started is um, you'll see the little Energy Star on your appliance and that just means that it's more efficient than most other appliances of that level. Um, it is also verified by a third party and it also has to do with more like the heating equipment, the cooling equipment, the lighting. Usually all of these are gonna um, strongly encourage you to have LED or compact fluorescence or something that is very low energy. And, um, and it also has a requirement that you have base level code for insulation. Um, all of these, why, why should you care? That's, that's the ultimate question, right? Why do I care about any of these things? Typically, these homes are going to be more comfortable. You're going to have less drafts. Um, they're going to be cheaper to run. So your utilities are going to be less expensive. And, um, and they're quieter. Like just as far as um, livability goes, they're usually just more quiet and more um, comfortable. So it does make a difference I mean, you're making a difference for the environment, but it also makes a big difference for livability. Anyways, you know, threw a lot at you. Um, if you have any real estate questions or topics that you'd like me to address, please send me a message below. And also remember to subscribe to our uh, Paris Group Realty LLC YouTube channel because we have all this information and more there that we'd love you to check out. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Thanks so much. <laughs>